Kadyrovites rebelled near Vovchansk, Russian assaulters refused to participate in battles. In Vovchansk, where the Russian offensive has been ongoing for two months, attack companies of the Russian armed forces began to riot. Cases of disobedience by soldiers have become more frequent. The Russian propaganda channel Northern Channel, which writes about the situation in the Kharkiv direction, spoke frankly about this dialogue media outlet of Ukraine reports. The Z Channel described the situation in Volchansk as stably difficult. The advance of Russian forces there has been completely stopped. The occupiers control only the northern part of the city. The losses of the Russian armed forces in Vovchansk were so great that the occupiers began to rebel. The Kadyrovites are among them. The assault detachments of the 153rd Tank Regiment and the fighters of the Akhmat Battalion refused to participate in hostilities on the front line. The Akhmatovites were in the reinforcement group, and when the assault detachments refused to go on, they supported them in a brotherly way, reported the Northern Channel. They clarified that the Russians there are dissatisfied with the high intensity of shelling, problems with food, as well as the tactics of commanders who drive their soldiers to slaughter. Z Channel clarified that the occupiers have not yet deserted, but simply refused to carry out combat missions. Russia launched a new offensive on May the 10th in northern Kharkiv Oblast and Vovchansk became the scene of some of the heaviest fighting. Moscow's forces had advanced as far as 10 kilometers in the region but had been halted by the first line of defense. The Russian military yet continues to use guided aerial bombs and missiles against the settlements in the Oblast. At present in the northern area of Vovchansk, Russian forces have launched massive shelling on the citadel aiming to reduce it to rubble and deprive the Ukrainians of this key stronghold. This intense bombardment threatens to compromise Ukrainian advances in this sector or even force a retreat from certain positions. Consequently, Ukrainian efforts have increasingly focused on the eastern part of Vovchansk where they continue to make significant progress. Efforts are ongoing to link the Ukrainian advance from the east of the city with the Tik area, aiming to dislodge Russian forces from the hills. Footage from various Russian sources has shown intense aerial bombardments on Tik confirming that the village and its surroundings are under Ukrainian control. Thank you. 